we began this test with a simple question. Does adrenaline really increase performance? Could added adrenaline allow mixed martial arts star Houston the Assassin Alexander to actually punch with more force? We first established a baseline to see how hard Houston hits without adrenaline. Then we got him mad, really mad. All that rage, I want it right now. I want you to unleash that beast. Come on, man. You can do this. No more disappointment anymore. Let's go. Flooded with natural adrenaline, Houston hit the crash test dummy with an amazing 1,000 pounds of force. That's 400 pounds, or 60% more force than he produced during the baseline. Now, there's one last test to run. How hard will Houston hit when we actually inject him with a shot of pure adrenaline? But giving someone an injection of adrenaline or epinephrine can be extremely dangerous. Too much can burst blood vessels, trigger cardiac arrest, and in the worst case scenario, even cause death. Because this is the first sports science test with potentially tragic consequences, our chief medical advisor, Dr. Basil Aish, has taken extensive precautions and created an emergency safety protocol our safety measures include, you know, the heart rate monitoring that you have, oxygenation monitoring, an automatic defibrillator, oxygen supplementation if we need, and constant monitoring throughout the test. Dr. Eich begins the final phase of the experiment by ensuring Houston's vital signs are within acceptable ranges. Houston, we've checked your EKG, it's normal. We've checked your pulse oximetry, it's normal. We've checked your heart rate, it's normal. We've checked your blood pressure. It's normal. All your baseline tests are perfectly normal. <laughs> well, Doc, it's time to get abnormal. Time to find out how much a dose of artificial adrenaline increases Houston's punching power. I'm going to give you this shot of adrenaline. The shot's going to go into the upper outside of your thigh. Dr. Eich gives Houston an injection of 0.3 milligrams of epinephrine. His heart rate spikes. His heart rate increased to 110, heart rate to 115. Nowhere near the 150 beats per minute generated by his own natural adrenaline. With no ill effects present, Dr. Eich decides to proceed with a second injection. A total dosage of 0.6 milligrams is extremely potent as much as an emergency room doctor might give a patient suffering cardiac arrest. It doesn't take long for the epinephrine to saturate the bloodstream, sending Houston's heart rate skyrocketing to 155 beats per minute. Blood pressure response, 156 over 90. Heart rate response is increased. Epinephrine response is present. How are you feeling, Houston? I can feel it running through my veins, running through my veins. Ready to do this? Come on. Here we go. Line yourself up.
Check if he's all right. Check if he's all right. Houston, I'm gonna check your pupil. How did the injection of epinephrine affect Houston's power? Remember, his baseline punch with no adrenaline registered at 600 pounds of force. Then, enraged by his trainer. Let me see it, you got me? Hit that thing, let's go! His natural adrenaline produced a punch with a thousand pounds of force. And finally, jacked up on a dose of epinephrine, Houston delivered a punch with only 900 pounds of force. Incredibly, that's less powerful than the one fueled by his trainer's motivation. Now, 100 pounds of force doesn't seem like a lot, but the fact that he can generate that with his own adrenaline was pretty amazing. It's almost uh, like being able to lift up a truck. <laughs> it's just a surge of power that you, you know, you, it's, it's almost, you almost can't handle. You, you almost can't control. <laughs> Turns out that the second punch you threw the one that was generated by your own natural adrenaline created the most force. Wow, so a lot of fighters are in trouble. <laughs> now, are you surprised with the results? No, not at all. It's, it's up to the coach to try to pull the best out of the athlete at any, any given time. Houston really stood up to the occasion. He really pulled something from inside him that we didn't even know he had. So you have to know how to use that and harness that. Uh, great power and great strength and great speed that epinephrine gives you. It's being able to direct it towards an opponent rather than letting it direct you. And his mind is strong enough to let that happen. And unlike the Incredible Hulk, the key to power isn't found in gamma rays or even a needle. To maximize performance, no athlete should ever rely on artificial stimulants legal or illegal, because nothing works better than the incredible powers of the human mind. Ah!